Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another video of Kickin' Their Best TV. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We got a bangin' frog fishing video for you guys today. Bank fishing video, more importantly, it feels like it's been about 75 years since I filmed my last bank fishing video. But today, if you guys haven't found out the new Vega Frogs release, if you guys want to get a discount, I'll pop my code up on the screen. They're freaking bad boys. But anyways, um, I filmed this video yesterday, and I totally forgot the frog at my house. I drove an hour away from home. I left it on the counter i was kind of mad but if you're wondering what we were throwing i was throwing a black pop and pickle and fletcher was throwing a white pop and pickle caught some good fish there was also a really big fish in the video so stay tuned and a bonus catch so this is going to be a good video hope you guys enjoy it let's hop right into it all right guys we uh gonna try fishing in the rain right now okay um <laughs> off to a great start off to an amazing start it's gonna make it so easy on us today I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, there he is. What? Oh, 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 oh. yeah. <laughs> that dang thing went. Shoo. Where to go? Dude, he's right there, but I ain't messing with him. Where's he at? I don't know, dude. I just saw him go. Chicka, 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 chicka. This one? <laughs> I think he's in that little bush, bro. Yeah. Oh, hell no. He might have went down by the water, but. He was a little tiny black snake. He wasn't nothing huge, but he was right next to me. All right, I didn't know where my frog was and I was actually working it on the rocks right there. That was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> you know what would be amazing right now is a dang buzz bait. There's one, I got one tied on if you wanna grab it. It's the worst place for slippery little snakes. I'm gonna duplicate what I did that time, Fletch. Get the seven pounder from up here. What did you think? I tried it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried. I don't blame I've, I've you. I tried it multiple times. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna try a buzz bait real quick. Did right you? If you guys don't know, probably the best bait to throw in the rain is a buzz bait. At least from my experience, they will eat a buzz bait in the rain. Let me tell you. So, if we can catch one on a buzz bait, man, I will not complain. Just wanted to catch them on a frog today, but the conditions are just not allowing us to. Should be one up in this corner. All right, guys, go into a new spot. Let's see if we can catch one on this pickle papa. Look at this grass, man. Oh my gosh. They're gonna be roaming a little bit more. Today it's cloudy, this rain. Um, they're not gonna be up in this grass how they should be, but they would roam the edge. We might get smoked, I ain't gonna lie. This looks juicy. Throw in a popping pickler. My hand feels so good right now. Oh my gosh. Dude, that was a big bite, bro. That was actually a good fish. Oh my God. He just like tried to suck it down and I was... You got one? Oh. <laughs> I like this cow tail. Oh, you got a cow tail? Cow tail is legit. <laughs> that seemed like a good little bite I had here. I wonder if there's some more. So usually in cloudy conditions, they like the black a little bit better. But it's always kind of rule of thumb. If you guys were wondering, I like through the black and the cloudy days and the white more of the sunny days. These fish just aren't under the stuff how they should be. If it was like a sunny day, these fish would get up under these little mats 
and uh, we'd be able to catch them really good on these frogs. But right now with this cloud cover and the rain, these fish probably roam a little bit. Seems that seems like they're kind of shut off. I'm gonna be honest with you. you know, sometimes in the rain, you know, to turn them on, or sometimes it kind of shut them off. It just depends on the day. Oh, that was a good one, bro. No, I'll jerk the freaking rod out of my hand. I'm like hook setting weird because of my steal them from my you. hand. You should eat. God, dog, yeah. Had two good bites. They're not small ones either. I don't think that fish was small. Uh, uh I didn't. I mean, I felt like weight, but I definitely didn't stick. Oh, why are they eating? That was a smaller one. It might have been a different fish. Huh. Hey, rat. It's hurting my thumb. It looks like it's it's kind of hard for me to reel in. Reel in. <laughs> it's going to be interesting when I hook a fish. I've been fine casting. It just kind of hurts even. Try to keep my thumb in the air. Man, I feel like an old man. Oh. You have another bite? Yeah, they're biting. They're up, they're up on this stuff. That's that grass is all out there. Is that grass usually out there? Is that grass usually out there? Uh, yeah, there's been some patches. Big... <gasps> Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, dog, that was awesome. <laughs> that was boy, freaking yeah. such a cool bite. He came all the way out of the water. That's a decent fish. I think that's the best. Uh, it's about the same size as mine. Dude, that was a really cool bite. He hammered it, bro. Oh, man. He came all the way out of the water for that thing. You're like, I'm interested to see if we get a bite out there. <laughs> he wasn't even hooked. Really? They just like, I literally, literally wasn't hooked. Just, like, pressure? Look, there's zero hook marks on him, too. Not even a hook. It got it. <laughs> it must have just been, like, pressed up against him. Wow. Well, that's my first fish today. Pretty little guy. That was, that was a cool bite, though. That he wasn't was even cool. hooked. Did you hear my drag slip? Mm-hmm. I think that helped out with my hand. I, I was thinking about that. I was like, I'm gonna loosen my drag on braid, which I never do. Might need to tighten it a little bit though. It, <laughs> it slipped a dang good bit. That's probably why I didn't get the hook in them. I watched him, I watched him come and eat it. He came from the left-hand side at the base of the tree. Yes, sir. You try this corner yet? No, I haven't. He's going to get a double. He actually, I actually got, got a hook in this one. Ah. Second. Yeah, these are the things that hurt my hand a little. Just be easy with me, bud. I'll get you back in the water, and you can be swimming. Pretty little golden fish. These fish have pretty, dude, look at that. It's like the most golden bass. He does got a lot of gold on him. It's a pretty fish. Walk him down a little bit, give him a toss. Thank you, bud. All right, guys, just got out to another spot. I'm gonna pick up one of my rods right here. I have the frog and then I have a little popper tied on, so we're gonna try a popper, but we're at the second place today and we're gonna go down there and try to catch one. Um, there's a little pipe over here. This is a pretty clear pond, but right now it's not clear. They're like cut some of the trees off the bank so it kind of dirtied up the water but we're gonna try it out for a minute we just want to stop by today's one of those days where we're just kind of trying to fish since it's raining you know we're just trying to put together something so we're gonna go down there real quick see if we can catch one let's see if we can give this a shot got a little pop mm, what was that was that a sneak i'm doing to me with sneaks it's a little grassy fletch i ain't gonna lie we're gonna try this little popper i know this is a frog vid but when you have top water, you gotta throw top water. We're in a new little spot.
I'm quickly going to switch over to this little creature bait just to give this a shot. There's a pipe right here that I want to toss this thing in front of and see if I can't get something to come out of this thing and hammer it. Oh, I got one. There we go. Yeah. Nice one. That's a fat one right there, guys. Oh, my. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, bro. Bro. Oh, my God. Dude, that is the fattest fish I've ever seen. Oh, my God. God. Oh my gosh, look at that, barely in the top of her mouth. Dude, I did not barely think that. Barely in the top. It didn't look that big. I didn't think it was that big. Look at that. Oh my That's God. like a six pounders and it's a four pounders body. It's probably a five. Oh, uh, I don't think it's six, but I'm throwing her on the scale. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. That was unexpected. Let me grab this scale. Like, I really did not think that fish was that big until I set the hook. I was sitting there, like, having a conversation with Noah, and I, like, just felt my line moving. I wasn't hardly paying attention. Like, <laughs> all day. Oh, yeah. Five, five even. Oh, yeah. Five even! Yes, sir. That is a freaking toad. Look at his stomach. You, you see that little tiny spot on her? You see that right there? Yeah, I do it's like see a that. Tiny. That fish is so fat. <laughs> what? Well, I know this is a frog video, but I kind of want to put on something on the bottom on this rod right here. A little Mach 1 combo. We're going to dig through Fletcher's box real quick and grab a hook and a weight. Um, they're just not wanting the top water in here. I cast it over that a good bit. He flipped out that worm probably like five times and had that fish bite it. That's a solid five pounder. That was a good fish. Um, let's see. Grab a little basic Texas root. Just a little tiny bullet weight, little 3 eye EWG. I don't know what kind of soft plastics he has, but honestly, I think just about anything would work for the most part. Oh, my thumb. My hands have been feeling a lot better today, by the way. That's why I was able to get out and go fishing today. And of course, it's wet and rainy, but, you know, we're salvaging up the day. We're, we're getting a little bit of something going. It could be a lot worse. So I'm going to tie this up real quick, see what soft plastics he has, and then uh, go down there and see if we can catch one. Put the bullet weight, 3-aught-EWG. We're going to tie them together with a uni knot. Clean and basic. I've seen a lot of comments that you guys saying, Noah, make a video on that knot. I already have a video on my channel. If you just type in like kicking their best TV fishing knot or kicking their best TV best fishing knot, the video will pop up. It's a simple basic knot though. Really strong. Best knot out there. I tied the polymer for years and I retired the polymer for the uni. So if that says anything. Because about everybody and their mom throws a polymer knot. Did you get another one? He's got another one. We're just going to put on one of these little crawls. I don't know if this is what he's using, but something basic. Nothing too crazy. All right, so that's what we're working with. Let's give it a shot. What kind of, what do you have on? I put on one of them little, like, crawl looking. Berkeley. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, that's what I got. They're right smelliest now. things I've ever. <laughs> stinky boys. Yeah, they're pretty dang smelly. I ain't going to lie. Halfway between the pipe and the trees. I'm surprised they're biting in here like that. It might be biting good today. We're just, we're throwing the wrong bait the whole, which, I mean, we kind of knew. Yeah. Oh my God, I got one. Oh, he came off. Really? First cast, he took it off. Look. Huh. Did he take it? Yep, look. Destroyed that thing. I'm going to throw it. Did he rip off the, uh, your... He ripped off both the crawls. That was my first cast on it. I'm going to throw it in there I like that. I cast it down that like four or five times. Got to know how to wiggle your worm now. Look at what that fish freaking, we literally just put that on the last, last one he had. He just destroys it first cast. You gotta love it. Get him. Oh, Whoa, boy. Yeah. Right, calm down. Right there. You think it's a little small? I think that might have been a bluegill, honestly. <laughs> That's kind of how that bite over there was. It's either a really small fish or it was a bluegill. Okay, that's gonna be a fish. Got it. That's a beautiful cast. Over by that brush. Yep. There he is. That's a decent one. Tugging? Yeah. Oh, there you <laughs> that's go. a good one. Oh gosh. 
Look at that. Not too bad fish. Not too bad fish. He's a lot skinnier than I thought he was. Ooh, look at that. Just barely. barely. Dude, that's, that's how my big one what? was. Two pound, two number? Yeah. Look at his eye on this side. Huh. Look at both of his eyes. See how his eyes are like He's in got, his head? Yeah, do you, you see that like see gold that flake on that other eye? Yeah, there is a little tiny gold mark on it. Yeah, that. that's interesting. Look at his uh, right there by his gill plate. Mm -hmm. See how he's tore up? I do see that. That's interesting. That fish is all beat up. Really skinny guy, too. That's a pretty fish. I thought he was a lot bigger. That's a nice one, though. Get him back in. Give him a little toss. There, there he goes. goes. What, what do I got going on right here? Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that tangle of goodness. Gotta love it. That's, like, my favorite part about fishing. <laughs> yeah. Is just tangling my line up a million times. I love yeah. it. What I strive for every I know, dude. It's just so much fun. We are ready to flip on the end of this tree and catch a donk. Oh my god, what did I do? A dangler? Nope. But what I will say, right there, you see, how I was just dangling my bait. If you guys don't know what a dangler is, it's where you dangle it above a branch. Well, I went out fishing the other day on the Ogeechee with Brad and I could only fish for about 20 minutes. That was when like my hand was really starting to, it was, it was pretty bad. And uh, I actually caught a dangle fish. So I will play that clip right now. Oh my God. Oh my God, it was a dangler, bro. No way. Yeah. I mean, a decent one, like a two pounder. I was dangling it from the tree. Oh my gosh, there's no way. Bradley, I dangled that from the tree, bro. It's been like probably six years since I've actually got one to commit. That is freaking cool. That's a decent little fish. Guys, that was one of the coolest bites this year. That'll probably be in like a 2020, like collage at the end or the montage at the end of the year. My hand's so bad. I'm sorry for like just casting bad today and just my hand's destroyed. It's a good fish. That's a good little fish. This is the coolest thing is I was dangling. I if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I threw my, the little bait there. It was dangling above the tree. I started dangling it from the tree. It just came up and ate it. I would hold them up for you, but I can't use my thumb on this hand. So I'm just gonna, Bradley can show you. <laughs> good guy. All right. Little fish. That was freaking cool. Let's keep on fishing. That's pretty crazy, wasn't it? That was one of the, coolest little fish catches all year that's definitely going in like a 2020 montage at the end of the year of a bunch of cool catches you ever ledge fish with a frog Dude, I always ledge, ledge fish. fish yeah yeah you know I love the my, my favorite way to fish it is you put a not a one ounce weight but a two ounce tungsten yeah yeah Honestly, ledge fishing. yeah yeah i mean all you gotta do is just put that two ounce weight on the frog and you're golden round you know 30, 35 foot, you know, 35 foot of water, you just peg a two ounce weight, you know, it's golden. And I put about 12 bullet weight pegs. Do you? Yeah. Do you? I don't know, I was more of a 13 type of guy. 13? Yeah. I, you know, I've, 13 is just my unlucky, it's your unlucky number. Uh, yeah, I feel that. God, I wasn't even recording, bro. The whole time? I don't think so, that is dumb. That, oh, God, I'm so mad. I was actually, a, really, dude? That's so annoying. I just caught one, guys. On it was actually a really cool catch too. I was like surprised we haven't got a bite. Okay, but sadly didn't get him on camera. He's the skinniest fish of the year too. Yeah. Okay. Just came up and scooped. Dude, they're choking it in here. The last one, guys, uh, you know that they haven't been eating it. The one I didn't catch on camera, he ate it the same way. He actually ate it further than this one, but oh, calm down, buddy. You're a little feisty guy. Pretty little dude. Nothing big, but second fish in this pond. Technically first fish on cam. That's annoying. Got him. Got one? Yep. I can't tell how big he is. I think he's only about a pound. You got a double? Yes. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Decent little like pound and a half or 
Well, I did not get the release, but he's just about a pound, pound and a half. Um, my camera died, of course. Didn't get the other clip, and then the camera dies. At least we got the catch on camera. Let's see if we can catch another. Thank you. 